Hello, Slayers, and welcome back to my channel and this edition of Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and Win is all about two people that narcissists just cannot tolerate. Yes, indeed. Today, we're going to be talking about how to slay bullies by knowing how to deal with the people that narcissists just cannot tolerate. Right, and I'm Rebecca Zung. I'm your resident high conflict resolution attorney, the specialist on helping you deal with narcissists in a powerful way, how to shift that dynamic against narcissists, how to slay bullies so that you can take back your power. And if you're new here, I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you subscribe to that channel and hit that notification bell. So today we're diving into a topic that's near and dear to my heart, how to expose that Achilles heel of narcissists by knowing the two types of people that they just literally cannot tolerate. So before we get started, I have something really special for you. If you want to disarm narcissists in your life, I have powerful phrases for disarming narcissists. You can check that out at disarmthenarc.com. So make sure you grab that. So the first type of person that a narcissist just really cannot tolerate is an empowered individual. And this is the type of person that they really, really respect so they kind of stay away from them as far as, you know, glomming onto them and making sure that they don't try to get too, too super, super close to them. Because this is the only type of person that they really, really respect. So an empowered individual, they, this is a person who knows their inner strength. This is a person who's harnessed it to the fullest. This is a, a, beacon of confidence. And this is where you're going, by the way. When you've gone through all my levels of slay, a strategy, leverage, anticipate, focusing on you, your inner strength, your inner power, knowing who you are authentically to the highest level. I always say it's sort of like at the beginning of The Wizard of Oz, when Glinda the Good Witch saw that wicked witch kind of coming around her, she was like, way little wicked witch you have no power here you're like that you're sort of flicking the narcissist away like a little flea like go away you have no power here it's like that you see that manipulation but you know who you are so you just you really have no time for it I was actually having a really beautiful conversation with my my daughter this morning and she's so growing up she's just finishing college. And she was talking about how when she sees that manipulation coming along from people and, and she sees what they're trying to do to her, she's like, mm, you know, I'm, just, I'm not going to play into it. I'm not going to play into your games. You know, you can do it. You can, you can send me those messages. You can send me those DMs, but okay, I'm, I'm not going to have I'm not going to play games with you anymore. It, you're like that. So this is a person who's now going to have to go find that source of supply from somewhere else. So they they can't tolerate that. They, they have to go find it from a different source it, because you're like Teflon. It's like water off a duck's back at that point. A person who is a Dalai Lama or pick a person who stands tall in knowing who they are, and they're just not going to play games with you anymore. They're that beacon of courage. They're that beacon of confidence. You know, if you want to say in Nelson Mandela or, or pick a person who appears that way to you, they're just resilient in the face of that narcissistic manipulation. They're just they're not taking it anymore because they they reclaimed their power. It's the Gandhis. It's the the Mother Teresa. Who are you again? I mean, I'm too busy in service over here. I'm too busy doing my work. I've got things to do that are so much more important than dealing with a person who's playing games with me. I don't have time for this crazy stuff. Narcissists are left 
ba baffled with that because their usual tactics are going to fail. So does this make sense to you? If this is making sense to you, give me a yes in the comments below. You're so authentic. You're so in your zone. You're so heart-centered. You're so service-oriented. You're so true to who you are at this point that you are fully alive, fully aware, fully coherent that that person just cannot get at you anymore. So give me a yes if this is making sense in the comments below. And remember to get the phrases for disarming narcissists, disarm the narc, and join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung for more support if you need it. Then second type, let's move on to the second type, is a boundary setter. You know, I kind of alluded to it with my daughter, but these are people that are really skilled at setting boundaries and not allowing that narcissist to cross them. Narcissists hate boundary setters because they can't get at their personal space. So this is a person who sees what, what's happening and says, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to allow this. I've started to get a lot better at this over the years during, you know, in per my personal workspace, you know, I've, I've had to start to say, yes, I see that you have some crisis at work and yes, I do have empathy for you, but yes, you also have a job to do so if you can't do your job, then I'm sorry, you cannot continue to work here. Yes, I do have a heart for you, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to allow you to cross my boundaries. You have to have both sides of it. Not allowing a narcissist to take advantage of you, invade your personal space. They will either come in as a, a victim or a hero, right? So not allowing them to invade that space, making you feel guilty or being that hero for you. Whether it's your boss that pushes your boundaries and says, regardless of whether you have children or whatever, you have to work here, regardless of whatever, you can't have work-life balance, blah, 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 making you work overtime. That's not healthy either. Boundaries, a healthy profession, you know, boundary between personal and professional life. Same thing on the other side of things. If you're a boss, you have to have your boundaries. Same thing in parenting. You can't have unreasonable demands. So no manipulation can disrupt your boundaries. Boundary setting understands the difference between personal space and professional space and understands the importance of emotional well-being in healthy relationships. Having that communication is really, really important. These types of people, what, what is the same thing about them? They know who they are. They stand in their authentic power. And that's what is so critical about who you need to be and having that self-care. And if you need access to self-care, it's really, really important for you to come into our community and get that self-care that you need. Studies show that narcissists themselves, they struggle with self-esteem. They struggled with trauma as kids. And that's why they inflict trauma on other people. Hurt people hurt people, right? You cannot take it personally, but you also can't allow yourself to continue to be a victim to it either. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, drop me that comment, tell me yes, you understand. I would love to know what other examples you guys have seen. And remember, knowledge is power. And if you understand what the, the narcissist's weaknesses are, you can take control of your interactions. Remember, if you found it helpful, other people will find it helpful too. So make sure you like this video, make sure that you share it with other people so that they can get access to this information as well. And make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell so that when I release brand new videos that you can get access to them right away. The next video that I want you to watch is 10 phrases that narcissists hate. It goes hand in hand with two people that narcissists can't tolerate, right? 
10 phrases that narcissists hate. Feel free to come back to this, rewatch it again and again. Remember who you need to be to stand in your power. Remember when you have strength, when you have courage, when you have conviction, when you have resilience, you can navigate high conflict situations yourself. And then you can actually start to turn around and become that beacon of hope for somebody else. And you can start coaching other people to be that beacon of hope as well. And we have certification programs to help you become that beacon of hope for, for somebody else also. All right. So together we can transform our lives and thrive. So until next time, my friends, I'll see you in that next video. I'm Rebecca Zung. Remember today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I'll see you in that next video. That's the sound of customers rushing to your store. Do you have a point of sale system that you can trust or is it a hmm, POS? Do you need a Shopify store for your retail? Shopify helps you be that command center for your retail store. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify has everything you need to sell as if you're in person. With Shopify, you get that powerhouse selling partner that effortlessly unites your in-person and on online sales into one source. Track every sale across your business in one place and know exactly what's in stock. I use it myself. Connect with customers in line and online, just like I do. Shopify helps you drive your store traffic with plug and play tools built from marketing to TikTok to Instagram and beyond. Get hardware that fits your business and you take your payments by smartphone and transform your tablet into a point of sale system or use Shopify's POS Go Mobile for a battle tested solution. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there for you. They have a support system that's there to help you, there to help your, your, your customers every step of the way. So do retail right with Shopify. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com forward slash best life, all lowercase, and go to shopify.com best life to take your retail business to the next level today shopify.com slash best life